Hey guys, we're Long from Red Moto, and today we're going to be working this 2020 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD end cap or extension cap for the front bumper. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on that push notification. And if you guys need any pre painted auto body parts for your car, go to redmoto.com, your pre painted auto body parts source. And if you guys need this end cap or extension, the link is down below and up above. Let's go ahead and get started. I went ahead and took off the driver's side one. Just to show you guys how this extension or end cap actually uh, attaches to the vehicle. It attaches to these like little points right here and there's going to be little push clips that you guys uh, have to kind of just grab and take that uh, end cap off so it just snaps off. And then on the top part of the uh, end cap or extension there's going to be this bracket right here and again you just snap it off of that bracket. Over here so you guys can see there's like these white little clips and again that just snaps onto the actual end cap and just have to pull it. This is this yellow cap right here that's probably going to come off but you're going to have to take off this clip right here to put this back on because it actually has to go onto the actual fender flare. Alright guys so right behind the fender flare like right here there's going to be a hole. Let me show you guys that. So right there, there's going to be a hole. That hole, you got to take off a 7 millimeter screw. Right below the fender, right here on the sides, there's going to be a uh, Torx bits that you guys have to take off. And there's going to be two of them. So let's go ahead and get started. So, so if you guys go down here, where the fender flare hits the actual end cap, like on the bottom, come back to it and just pull back like that. And just pull back a little bit and there's going to be like this little um remember over there this clip right here doesn't um come with it kind of like gets stuck onto the fender so all you got to do on that one is get a uh, flathead and remove it so actually let me see if i can actually take it off with my finger hmm, close but go ahead and pull it back a little bit in a few minutes i'll show you guys how to get this clip off but pull back on it a little bit and you'll see like the screw right here. And if you guys can see, there's a screw right here. And it's going to be a 7. 7 millimeter, just like that one right there. And your regular socket set. Go ahead and pull this back. Not too much where you're bending the uh, fender flare. But just enough so you guys can get back here. And the screw looks like that and as you guys can see right here there's a screw right there and a screw right there and that's going to be a size let me see t10 no t15 it's going to be size t15 and it looks like this right here it's like it looks like a star looking thing it's like a torx bits t t15 right there okay guys so go ahead and take that off pretty much it all right once you guys remove all those things go ahead and come back here and pull like that follow your hand across and it should just unclip itself right there there you go so hold on to it and then maneuver yourself to the front There you go. And then you gotta angle it because you have this uh, little rubber piece right here. Just like that. Alright, to install it is super easy also. All you gotta do is come in here. Well, see like the rubber piece? Again, remember, angle it. You go in there. Just like that and then find the clips make sure they align with the holes over here and then you can 
push that in. Make sure they line up right here. All right. And then you guys come over here. Make sure the um, the end cap or the extension is over the bracket and then go ahead and push it in like that. All right. So then I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put it on because I need to take off the grill, but remember you guys have these uh, screws right here. It's gonna be a seven millimeter. You put it in there. And then what you guys are gonna have a problem with is over here, this clip. So you guys can see this clip right there. It's stuck on the fender where it should be on the fender flare. All you need is like something like this or a flat head. And you come over here. Oh, that one fell off too. But you come back here. and all of this is a clip that looks like this right and all you gotta do is get something flat and get it wedged in right here and then push down on this thing see how it kind of retracts back and then pull down on it and then this thing should release I usually get my finger to hold down on it so it doesn't pop back in and then go to the other side like right here and push down on that and then that should release your clip. Then all you got to do is find that um, where these clips go, put it back into place. And then you can just go ahead and clip it back in. Alright guys, so that's how you remove and install a 2020 Chevy Silverado front bumper end cap or extension. If you guys have any questions, comment down below and I'll answer all those questions for you. Thank you guys for watching.